All right, you guys. I want to point some stuff out. You can read these. Um, points just a specific location. It can be drawn like this and written like this. A line is a straight line through two points or more. There's actually an infinite number of points on here. It can be drawn like this or written like this. Notice I can say line AB or line BA and there's arrows up here. A plane has to have three points to make a plane. So notice that we have this cool script R. This is plane R. And as long as you name three points, you've, you've named that plane. A point, a line, a plane are all what's called undefined terms. You should look through this. All right, you should read through this, maybe even pause and read through and, and spend some time. These are all going to be on your quiz and test. All right. In geometry, the world between is another undefined term, but its meaning is understood from its use in everyday language. All right, you can use undefined terms as building blocks to write definitions for defined terms. So when I talk about a line segment, I can use points, line, and plane. So a line segment is a portion of a line consisting of two points called endpoints. So whether this continued or not, it would be a portion of a line. So I've now used an undefined term to define this term. All right. Array is a portion of a line that has one endpoint. Notice it starts here and goes on forever in the other direction. Now with a line, it doesn't matter the direction that you aim it, name it in, CD or DC. But with array, you must start from the endpoint. PQ, you can either say ray PQ or draw a ray over the top of it. All right. You can use points, line segments to draw, so let's do it. Draw two points J and K, then draw a line through them. So draw two points J and draw a point K, and we're going to draw a line. All right, we're going to go in both directions. Just to name it, let's name it. We're going to name it line JK, or I could say line KJ. It doesn't matter the order. All right. Draw two points J and K again. This time draw a line segment with no endpoints. So point J and K, and then I would just connect them. All right. So I could say line segment J K, or I could say line segment K J. Doesn't matter. Moving on. Back side. Draw point K again. And then draw a ray through J. Just like this. All right. Um, draw three points. J, K, M. And we're going to say they all exist on a plane. So that is plane J, K, M. All right. So remember that a point, right? A point, a line, and a plane. A point, a line, and a plane are all undefined. So I come over here and I say a point, a line, and a plane are all undefined. The other ones are defined. It says give the name for each figure through. I think we used J and K, so it was point J and point K. The line was either JK or KJ. The segment, oh we should put arrows on the end up here, right? The segment was once again either JK, didn't matter the order, or KJ. Now the ray had to be K and then through J. There's only one way to name a ray. And the plane, we're just going to write plane JKH. All right, reflect. Is this the same as ray JK, the same as KJ? No, because. Um, you must start from endpoint. So the endpoint means we have to start from K. All right. Does the order that you write letters matter when you write a plane? No. That's good enough. Any order matters. If Line PQ and line RS, RS are different names for the same line. What must be true about P, Q, R, and S? They are 
all on the same line, right? They must all be located. Maybe P, Q, R, S. They must all be located on the same line. P, Q, R, S. All right, there's a learning target. We're going to stop. Okay. You know what? I think maybe. Yeah, we'll finish this page, then we'll go on. All right. So construct a copy of a line segment. Well, this is pretty awesome. All right. So what I've brought here is I've brought a safety compass, which is like a ruler and a compass put together. I'll show you how to use these. All right. It says the distance, the distance and the absolute value of difference of the numbers. So if R is 1 and S is at 4, the distance of RS is either what RS, we could say um, 4 minus 1, which is the absolute value of 3, which is just 3, right? From 1 to 4 is 3. Or I could say the absolute value of 1 minus 4, which would give me the absolute value of negative 3, which is also just 3. All right. Points that lie on the same plane are called coplanar. Points that lie on the same line are collinear. Cohabitate means you live together. Most of you live with your, I don't know, with a couple people, mom, uncle, sister, brother. Lines that lie on the same plane but that do not intersect are parallel. And we're going to stop here. That's pages one and two. I'll list them up there, and that's the end of this video.